It's been a while since Leonardo AI came out with a new update, when we used to get new features and new update after new update. But I think that will all be changing soon. And that could actually be starting with the one I'm about to share with you today. And now remember, it wasn't too long ago that Leonardo AI was actually acquired by Canva, in which you can use Leonardo AI directly from within Canva itself. It's called Dream Lab. If you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend it. But today, we're going to be looking at this brand new update by Leonardo AI. And this is one that really excites me. You're going to be able to get a ton of different images with all different variations with just a simple prompt. It's called flow state. Add a single prompt and then flow state generates an ongoing feed of images to give you an infinite amount of variety. So for an example, here's my original image. And now with flow state, I was able to get all of these images by doing nothing else. All different styles including some of these right here that I may not have thought of off the top of my head. Okay, so now here we are in Leonardo AI and you can find flow state by simply on the left-hand side going to image creation just like you would to generate a regular image. So go ahead and select that. Once this pops up, here it is. Here is flow state. It is directly under the prompt box right here. Now we're going to have classic mode, but now we're going to have also flow state mode. And so flow state is really going to excel with a different variety of style prompts. Now to start, let's see how good of a job it can do with some very detailed prompts. And then from there, I want to show you how good of a job it can do with just the simplest of prompts. So now let's go ahead and head over to my Leonardo AI Ultimate Prompts database. And that's what we're looking at right here. And now the first one I want to start with is, let me go ahead and expand this image right here. Look how amazing this actual image looks. Now this image is going to have some very specific keywords. When I go ahead and expand it, you can see on the right hand side, it's going to have these specific adjectives, okay? Magenta, black and white space suit. Hey you, get this database plus tons of prompts. Check the links in the description. Now the same thing could be said for all of these images right here. Whenever I add this sort of prompt into Leonardo AI, I might start with this kind of image right here, okay? But then I'm gonna end up with this image right here. And then even as I begin to scroll down, even with these kind of images like this, these polar bear in a hot chocolate glass for Christmas time, I can get some crazy good results in flow state and really change things up without having to do anything else. And now the next thing you want to do is just simply paste in the whole entire prompt like I did right here. And remember, deselect classic mode. What we're going to do next is simply select flow state. Now it takes me to this screen right here. It did remove the prompt. So go ahead and paste it again. There is the prompt. Now over on the left hand side is where things get really creative. We won't do this quite yet, but let me go ahead and give you the quick details of the options we have available. So I'm in flow state, but just below that, we're going to have this on the left hand side. I notice four different styles, but it doesn't stop there because look what happens when I select each style right now I am in vibe and that's going to be automatic and just this alone is going to produce a ton of different options I could choose from anything from color sketch street photo and then down the sci-fi anime etc okay on the left hand side I could select lighting here or over here in the menu I could go back and forth between vibe lighting and shot type and also color theme but you can see as I click on each style, it's going to correspond with even more options in the actual menu right here. And then down to even color theme, look at this, earth tones down the vibrant and gradient, some of my favorite different ones. So to start, let's just leave everything on automatic for now, because the purpose of this is to really generate a wide variety of images. And then just like that, you're going to get a plethora of images. And so here we are. As I scroll, look, the images just continue to reload. So let me go ahead and then just click on some of these and you can look at the different varieties we're going to get. So for an example, if I open this one up right here, I love the way this looks. This looks fantastic. Okay. Even this first one, this is where flow state really helps with the creativity. Okay. For an example, look at this amazing looking image right here. Now to be completely honest, I probably wouldn't even know off the top of my head of what I would have to input in my prompt to get this sort of image. But now with flow state, you don't need to because it's going to go ahead and then create that. So now remember, as you scroll, and you don't see exactly what you like, just continue to scroll down, more and more images are going to populate. You're even going to get a completely different wide variety of images like this one right here. Animation wasn't in my prompt, but that's the purpose of flow state to give you a wide variety of things. Now, this one also looks fantastic. Now, there is one thing I want to show you to keep in mind. If I'm in my flow state view right here, if I download it within this flow state page, it's not going to correctly download. What you first need to do is simply save it to your library 
library. Once I save it to my library, now you can go back over into your actual library and now that image is going to appear right here. Okay, there it is. Now I can go ahead and download it and then it will be in your downloads folder. Now, earlier today, I did the same prompt and look at these images I was able to get with the same exact prompt. These sorts of images are incredibly fascinating. Now, to really take things to the next level, look what happens if I expand this and now select image to motion. And now let's try something completely different, but this time let's select a few different styles. Okay, now the first one is gonna be this one you see in my database right here. Look on the right hand side, these images are fascinating. These specific adjectives, neon LED lights. Now, if we head over to flow state, let's see what we got in there. And now look at that, just like that, look in flow state, everything I was able to get just by simply pasting that simple prompt, a nice variety of images. We're gonna have images that look comparable and similar like this right here, but then we're gonna get some very cool cool ones, completely different, but then maintaining the same and similar style. However, this one is going to be an illustration. And as I continue to scroll, look, even more details added with that smoke. And I even get some cool blurred or bokeh effect images. Now this one has more of a realistic vibe with actual people in it. Let's do the same thing. Let's first do it with this mysterious superhero right here. But then I want to finish it off to see what kind of image we can get with this one right here. Okay, now right off the bat, look how amazing these images look. Now these generated some amazing looking images and I definitely like the different color scheme. Again, as I continue to scroll down, I'm going to have more and more images begin to populate. But now, like I said before, let's come back up here and now just simply change it up with that Christmas one with that tiny polar bear in that glass of hot chocolate. Now, just for reference, here are four original images, but now with flow state, check this out. Look how good of a job this did. Every image is so cool. I love the way these turned out and the top things off like I showed you earlier. Let me show you what this could create when you add a little bit of motion to it. Now that's pretty cool. Look at how good of a job it did with motion. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit more of a specific style. What sort of vibe do we want with this kind of prompt? Let's go with 3D cute. Okay. Let's see what we can get with that. With lighting, I'm going to go ahead and then choose mystical. And now for shot type, let's go ahead and select cinematic. And now one last thing for color theme, let's just change things up a little bit. Let's go ahead and then make it dark. Okay, we have all of our options. I'm gonna select my aspect ratio to now be 16, nine, and now let's generate this. So as I scroll down, you could see on these images right here, you still get a nice variety, but we're still gonna get like this image right here. Look, it's more of a 3D render and they're all sort of maintaining a little bit of a dark vibe, but look how amazing this looks. This is incredible, cinematic, the lighting is definitely still cinematic and there's a little bit of that dark tint. It's giving me the combination of everything I want. An awesome variety of different creativity. And this is one of my favorite updates, honestly, so far in Leonardo AI, just because of how good of a job it does with the same prompt. And remember, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching.